Sharks trying to get it to the half court set now. Moving the ball, trying to get everybody involved. Going for a three pointer off the ball screen and sinking that one early. And again, if Shev will get going early, this could be a problem. That's going to be the matchup, though. Johnson gets a good look at it. He's an excellent shooter from the outside. It's a tough matchup for Cook to try and get out to him. Ramsey pick and pop now. Cook pump fakes. <laughs> I'd like to see him throw that one down here, just kind of silence the crowd, but at the moment... Uh, this is the question now, with the, the media timeout coming in less than a minute for Atiba, they need something to stem the momentum, they get exactly that, and it's from Pipkin's key man for Sheffield. Oh, that's a big difference right there, isn't it? 13 points from the line, and we said Sheffield are so often difficult to get easy points against. Plymouth have done that through the free throw line. There's the rebounding. You know, uh, Sheffield played a great defensive possession to give up an offensive rebound. So it was a, a, the offensive rebound, you're a, 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 a weak point to protect the three-point line at that moment, and that's where Plymouth took advantage, if they can. Interesting to see Plymouth have changed up the defense, but a zone for them. See if they can take away the threat of Nichols under the basket. Somebody's down hurt. Who's that? Sheffield just throwing it right away. <laughs> Again, the reaction from that play. The disappointing offense there from the Sharks. Oh, it's frustrating if you're a Sheffield fan because they've played some really good defense and they've got these little chippy opportunities. And if you think the two that they've lost, the, the travel from RJ, the, the turnover there. Pipkins now coming to the backcourt trying to find Jubal Adekoya. That's Rotino. Rotino now in and around, goes off the backboard, a strong finish. Trying to find some inspiration here in their offense. Nichols going baseline, finds out a coin, goes up and finishes inside the paint. And that's much better from the Sheffield Sharks. Sheffield going in for second chance is something they need to do. But again, they come up with a loose ball. Nichols down the lane, bit of contact, goes up, no foul called. But again, another follow up. Plymouth needs some composure. Well, Johnson again turning it over. Plymouth losing it yet again. Can they capitalize here? Now it's a five-point deficit with just over 440 to go here in the fourth quarter. Kipper Nichols, but Sheff will get the ball back. Run to four minutes. Nichols have got a mismatch, wants it on the inside. Well, Kipper Nichols dominating inside the paint, getting the seal off against Taylor Johnson. Well, Nichols being guarded, or guarding Elvisa Dusha, excuse me. Put the hands in the passing lane, another turnover. Sheffield going all the way. But again, Kippen Nichols with the follow-up and again, a bit of an acrobatic play in transition. That might be the curtain call for the Plymouth City Patriots. Pipkins goes up and just finishing on the prod. Throw out, excuse me.